Well, good evening, YouTube world. Welcome in the kitchen with Tally Faye. I hope everybody had them a good day today. It's been a beautiful day here in Iola, Texas. So we've had a good day, a blessed day, a busy day. So I hope everybody's been blessed today and it's going good for you. Um, I'm fixing to get in here, y'all, and make these up. I've been wanting to do this because this is something I think that we can eat when you have a company over or when you're having uh, game parties, like, you know, coming up now and everything, or just as, just like I'm doing tonight for a buzz and I, I'm going to fix these up, y'all. And what I'm doing is I'm going to make up the bistro chicken salad, okay? Y'all know that's my favorite chicken salad. So you make up your favorite chicken salad. Probably. That's how you, I would say you just do it. But I want to do it with this bistro chicken salad. And you might try it like I'm going to do it tonight. Like I'm going to try it tonight. How's that? Okay? I've not made this. But I'm going to do this thing, y'all. So the first thing I want to do, I've got my oven preheating on uh, 360. I'm going to do them on 360. Okay? Now that bistro chicken salad calls for two of those 10-ounce cans of chicken breast. Well, I just had... Me, I had some chicken left from when I made that pot pie. So I took my, and you want to shred it, right? So I just took my chicken breast that I had, and I shredded it up in my food processor. And I got more or less roundabouts that much chicken meat in there. That's what we're going to call it, okay? Ain't no, you know, bait, uh, um, what do you say? Anyway, you know, just straight out measure on that, okay? You know, I'm, I'm close enough to it as far as I'm concerned. So I got me some shredded chicken meat over there. Um, I'm going to do that with my chicken salad here in a minute. But the first thing I want to do, y'all, is I have me a block of cream cheese. I've had it sitting out here. I'm going to get it. Where's my... I'm going to get me a block of cream cheese here. Put in my bowl, in my mixing bowl. And now I've got me some sour cream. Let me get this sour cream. Ain't no measuring on this. I'm just going to take me a nice dollop of it out. Like this, a big, I don't know that that's a dollop, I, you know, whatever you want to call it. Y'all call, you know, I call that a blob, right? That's Tally Faye measuring, a blob. I'm going to put me a blob of sour cream in with this uh, cream cheese. The only reason I'm doing that is because I want to help make it creamy and spreadable, all right? Okay, we've got us some cream cheese, sour cream, and then I've got me a handful of fresh dill here. I'm going to cut this up in there real quick. I just got me a nice handful of it. Just chop it up in there. I want to mix it up in there with my cream cheese where it spreads out in there. That's my thoughts on it anyway. Okay. All right, that's chopped up in there. Good enough. Nothing special. Just chop it up in there. All right. Now I'm going to cream up my... Uh, cream cheese and my sour cream together. We get them beat up together. All right, good enough on that. See it? It's got the deal all stirred up in there. Get this out of my way. I'm going to set this bowl off to the side for the moment. Now, let me get me a cookie sheet. I think, oh, no, I'm not going to do the cookie sheet yet. I'm going to go ahead and just roll it out on my bar, on my cutting board, I think. I'm going to see how I'm going to do this, y'all. Because I want to roll this out. I do want to roll it out to fit my cookie sheet, right? And get... Find that little edge on there. Okay. I'm going to see. I'm going to put me a little bit of flour on here just because. Not a lot, just enough to spray it out on there, right? Give it a little chance not to stick so so much to it. So I want to spread this thing out. Okay. We're just going to take the whole roll. Okay. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> These are the crescent rounds. I did not even see that. Let me see what my other pan. Hey, I'm going to make this work. I'm just going to make this work like it is. I've got to do this. So I'm just going to take them and I'm going to try to roll this out, y'all. And see there? That's a tally fade thing if I ever seen one right there, y'all. I did not see that, that said rounds on it. I know it's the same dough. I just got to see if I can get it to uh, roll out enough for what I'm wanting. I'm going to have to roll it out real thin, so y'all let me roll on it a minute. Okay, so I got it rolled out as thin as I can get it rolled out, I reckon. Or as much as I'm going to wrestle with it. Let me put it down here where y'all can see. Because we're still going to do the same thing to it no matter what anyway. Right? So I'm going to get my cream cheese mixture out of here. I'm going to spread it on this, on this dough just like this. My cream cheese, sour cream, and fresh dill. That ought to be a good combination of flavors there. But I really would have preferred, right, having the regular crescent roll dough thingy. I got to tell y'all, I didn't even know they made these. Crescent rounds, it said. I bet y'all probably know about them. It's just something I don't even know about. Let me get this all on here. I mean, it ain't going to bother me none. See how good I can get it spread out on there. I want to try to get the whole block of it on it. Because, I mean, hey, cream cheese is good, right? Especially when it's got dill in it and got that sour cream going on. Okay. That's going to be about good as I can get that, y'all. Or good as I'm going to do it. Because we got to get this uh, chicken salad stirred up and spread on there. For my next part of my adventure here with this. Keep hanging that one corner up on it. I don't know why. Better leave it alone. Okay. There we are, y'all. We got that done. Now, let me see here. I'm going to scoot this out of the way. And we're going to get this chicken salad stirred up. I got my chicken meat shredded in here nicely. The first thing I'm going to do is add my... Uh, I've got me on my celery. I've got a one. I've got a quarter cup plus one tablespoon of minced celery right here. Okay, we're gonna put that in there. Now I've got me some onion here. I've got me just one quarter cup of it without the without the uh, extra tablespoon in it. Okay, I've got me some sweet relish. I've got me half a cup of sweet relish. One half cup on it. Now, it was quarter cups on the onion and celery, half cup on the relish, all right? On the mayo, I've got half cup with that. Real mayonnaise, all right? Real mayonnaise going in. Easy peasy. Got that. Now, let's get our... Let's see what I've got here. Oh, that's for the... Where did I get that for? Oh, you know what I needed, Buzz? It wasn't the poppy seeds. It was the, I wanted the everything bagel, didn't I? I'll get you to come get that in a minute when I get ready for it, okay? All right. Okay, let's do our dill weed. We need dill, dried dill weed. The dried dill weed. We want one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of dried dill weed. Okay? Dried dill weed. Okay, there's just a tablespoon. 
And I bet I can get that in there. Yes, I can. Okay. And a teaspoon of dried dill weed. Now, we need celery seed. Celery seed. We want the same measurement. One tablespoon. One tablespoon of that. Plus one teaspoon. Okay. There we go. There's our celery seed and our dill weed. And now we want, last thing, <clears throat> we're going to put horseradish in there. Y'all know I always have the extra hot. You don't have to have that, but you want the horseradish. It just gives it just something, something, y'all. I love it in there. So, but you don't have to put it in there if you don't want it. But it's a tablespoon of your horseradish. I need a little spoon to get in there. See if I can get down in there with this one. I know it's hidden from y'all. I'll show it to you. Okay, there's just a tablespoon of horseradish. There we are. There's our ingredients for our bistro chicken salad. I just love this stuff. My sister-in-law introduced me to a gym when she showed me this. And I, I know that so many of y'all tried it on here after I made it that first time, and y'all loved it as well. And it's an easy recipe. Now, it is better to me after it sits a while. And with the dried herbs, you know, kind of, well, you let, it gets everything in there. But we're not going to wait on it. We're going to get it stirred up and get it on here. Okay. There's our chicken salad ready. Now, let's get this back over here. Okay. Get this chicken salad. I'm just going to put it right in the middle here, y'all. That's a pile of chicken salad. I'm fixing to use my hands. I think I can do a better job with my hands. Like always, right? But I'm going to spread it out all over the top of this cream cheese layer. Boy, that's already looking good to me. This just might be another crazy tally fay idea, y'all, but I had my chicken meat and I had all the other stuff for it, other than the fact that what I thought was crescent rolls was crescent rounds. But obviously, I think we're gonna work just fine. Okay, got that on there now. Now we're going to take this and we're fixing to roll it up. Just roll it up. Like you're doing when you're making cinnamon rolls, y'all. Right? That's the hole. That's where it popped off in my mind that I could do them like cinnamon rolls. <laughs> There's that little torn part, but okay, so we have one messed up roll. Who cares? Okay. There we are. Got them like that. Now, now let me get my cookie sheet. I think this one will hold them. I don't know. I better get that big one. Oh, where's that one, my girlfriend? I oh, know it's not big enough for what I'm doing tonight. She got me these new pans I wanted to try, but <clears throat> I got too many. Chicken salad rolls here going on. Okay. I'm going to see. I'm going to do them just like this, y'all. And set them down on there. Just like that, okay? We're going to go across here. And slice them. Just like that. I think I got that first one a little big, but it has the end piece on it, so maybe that'll make up for it. I don't know. Y'all think I'm crazy for trying something like this? 
Could be good, could not be good. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm in hopes that they turn out delicious. And it's really easy, right, if you make up your chicken salad, uh, beat up your cream cheese, sour cream, and dill. Uh-oh, I cut that one real good. Uh, and spread it all on there, roll it up, slice them, and put them in the oven. But I'm fixing to do a... I've got one last little thing I want to do on here with them, I believe. I'm going to try... Boy, that makes a bunch of them, y'all. And the crescent rounds didn't make, that didn't make no difference using them. I don't guess. Okay, if I do this one. I think I've got one odd one, y'all. Off of that end, but I'm still going to put him on there. Okay. Turn him upside down. Okay. We're gonna do it like this. Let me spread them out a little different now that I've got them. Okay, there we go, there we go. Now. All right, I've got that done. Let me get this off of here. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Put my towel over it. Now. We're gonna take this pan and we are going to, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of oil on them and then I'm gonna get me some seasoning I wanna sprinkle on the top. Okay, so I've got my seasoning. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna spray in a little oil on them, y'all. Now I was, I've got some garlic butter in there, y'all, and I thought about mopping them with some of that garlic butter, so y'all can tell me what y'all think of that idea, but, I just didn't know, so I'm just gonna go with the oil, and I've got my I've got my uh, everything bagel seasoning here. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna sprinkle that all on the top of it. How's that? Give it a little extra. Mm-hmm. Right. We'll see what that does. And that's got garlic in it, so that should be enough of that. Do y'all like the everything bagels? Ba everything bagel bagels? Me and my daughter-in-law love them. It's uh, one of our absolute favorites. Okay. I have no idea how long these are gonna be in the oven, but I want them to get up all pretty and golden brown like. I hope they'll do that with all that chicken meat in there. But we're going to find out together, y'all. Here they are. We ain't scared. We ain't scared tonight. Don't be scared. We're going to do it. They're going in the oven. It's on 360. We'll see what happens. All right, y'all. I got them out of the oven. And I had them in there for, uh, I had them in there for 40 minutes is how long I left them in there. Because, you know, they had so much of the, uh, chicken salad and stuff and everything in there and the cream cheese and all. I wanted to make sure the inside layers of the roll, you know, were done and everything. So what I did was I did them for 30 minutes on the uh, middle rack and then I put them on the top rack for the last 10 minutes. Okay? Y'all ready to try? I hadn't even tried it yet. Here they are. Let me show them to you up close. I think they look great. Look at them. That's pretty cool looking so far. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. All right, let me see if I can. Okay. There it is, all rolled up and, and seeing that's how long the 40 minutes did them there. Okay, hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing here. I'm going <clears> to <throat> take it and just slice it like this. I want to see. Let me turn around here and I'll show y'all. Okay, look, there's the inside. So that that's done. I can see that that is done. All right. 
Ooh. I wanted to let them cool down a minute. And I bet when they cool that they tighten up a little bit because of that cream cheese. What do you think? Okay, I'm getting me, I want to get a little bites of everything on there. It smells good. Ah, I'll be. Let me see if I can pick that up. I can. That's good, y'all. That has a good flavor. I might have went a little heavy on the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, on the, uh, 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 the seasoning up here. I might be, not for me, but the only reason I'm saying that is because it has a lot of salt in it. So, you might not want to go as heavy on the, on the everything bagel seasoning on it, but. As far as going along with that bistro chicken salad, because it's got all that celery and onion and celery seed, there's a lot of celery flavor, right? So that, that seasoning goes good with it. I almost can't taste the cream cheese for the chicken salad. I'm pleased. This would be a great, a great um, I'm, I'm, I'm gathering thing, like, you know, like a women's gathering thing, you know, canasta party or something or whatever or something, something. Look at that. I am absolutely pleased with this. And those crescent rounds didn't make any difference on that, y'all. It's This is like roll dough on there almost. That's good. I'm happy. Another crazy tally faith thing. There it is, y'all. Full of chicken salad and cream cheese. And got all the seasoning. I mean, it's very, very, very deli tasting because of that bistro chicken salad. So, hey, y'all give it a try. Let me know what you think. And like I'm saying, you might can make your own chicken salad. Uh, I wouldn't make my, the, the bistro chicken salad, remember that, is a, is a dry chicken salad. It's not all, uh, it's not real wet. And that's probably a key to making these work too. If you get, if you're gonna make your own uh, chicken salad uh, recipe that you like, um, tr don't make it as uh, wet with mayo and stuff so much or whatever. Leave it a little dry so that it can, you know, won't be all uh, just soggy inside the roll. But otherwise, shoot, I'm happy with it, y'all. These things worked out. One more time, I'll show them to you. Look at that. There it is. Don't be scared. See there? See there? We did it again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love y'all. I hope y'all have a good evening and everything. And try these out. Let me know what you think. I am pleased with them. I think Buzz is going to enjoy this. I'm tickled with them. I, I think they'd be good to surprise at a, uh, have them at a party. You bring them to a little old function, see if they don't. Eat them up like that. One of them kind of gatherings. All right. I love y'all. Thanks for everything. And uh, y'all take care of each other. Lift each other up. Stay blessed. And I'll see you next time in the kitchen with Tally Faye.